Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche and we are here with our tribe who is currently pre preparing to set out this way uh, to one of the hopefully what we're looking for is a harder island that isn't jungle because the jungle islands are awful <laughs> we've never had a good experience on a jungle island except in one of the very earliest updates when the jungle island was only half jungle uh, this tribe has never had a good experience with the jungle and I'm a little afraid they're never going to. So I think we're not going to go to the jungle with them if we can help it. Uh, but we do want to try and find some of the harder islands, namely the snow island. So we might look for that. So let's see, we have 112 food. I'm going to go ahead and start a new day. And let us see which of our creatures we want to come with. So we have Renara, who has, uh, I think Renara and, or was it Sime? Sime? And Kuvanro, I think, are going to be some of our next Kumas. Um, they're both... Okay, Kuvanro needs uh, high, the the Baryina hind legs, which we have in there. And then he also has a slightly lower fertility. So I think we're going to put in a higher fertility. There we go. And we'll have him make his way this way. And I believe he... K or KC's. Yeah, CK. Yeah, these guys can breed. So he and Renara, I think, are going to be the Kumas, and they will actually be a breeding pair. So Kuma, Ren Renara, and Kuma Kuvanro. And then Sime will be coming as well. Sime could not breed with him, but do we have another male she could breed with? That's female. That's female. That's male. CB, no. CB, no. Uh, but let's look at these guys. So we have Starby. That's one of the males. Starby. 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 So we're not going to find, I think, another male that we could bring. But let's look at these guys. I think we'll bring Nutaku. We'll bring Nutaku with. And have him come. He also has this berry paw, which can be handy. We're trying to breed that out of our Baryina line and into our Poison Fang line. But as of right now, that's not happening so much. And let's look at... I think we're going to move Milana. And potentially... Do we start moving the other guy this way? It's this guy, Duke Roku. We're going to start moving him this way. And we're going to move Milana this way as well. And let's look at who this baby was. We had a Poison Fang child! Yes! Alright, so we have Hemophilia. is not such a good thing. Uh, but we do have, we got the Baryena Claws, so we can start mutating those back out. But we have um, secondary blind eyes, so I think, let's see if we have the normal blood clotting trait. We don't, I think that must be broken because number of generations 10. I don't, we, for some reason that's not registering. But let's look at, um, so we want to get the nimble fingers in and we want to get normal eyesight in. So we'll go ahead and give her normal eyes and nimble fingers and we will bring her with in a little bit so miana has b and e i think we're gonna bring uh miana with if we can if we can get her over there in time because she is a carrier of this poison fangs and we want to try to get that bread in and she can breed sort of okay with duke roku so we have b and star Again, there's some overlap, but they could still breed sort of okay. Uh, and sort of okay right now for that, until we get more genetics expanded, is uh, gonna have to do. The thing with our Poison Fang line is that it's a little bit more fragile because we actually haven't uh, unlocked the ability to get it in the, tr the genetic line. Uh, if we look at Milana here, just for example, she can't actually add in the poison fangs. It's right here. We still have to travel to new islands. And it does say toxic body, so I don't know if they have to have the toxic body first to mutate that in or what. It's just not quite the same. So let's look at... We can't mutate it in for Milana. Uh, but Milana can breed with him without having any concerns. But we do want to try and get nimble fingers in, so we'll put that in the, the traits menu here. And then for the rest of these guys, I want to let's try and bring as many Baryina females as we can because it always pays to have more females. I found the males are good, but they can they can they can breed um, 
the females can only breed once, and so regardless of how many times the males can breed, if you don't have enough females, that's not going to matter. So we want to have more females. And uh, we can probably leave some of the other males, but we'll bring Mikola. And we want to try and bring several of our creatures with if we can. I'm actually... well, maybe I'm not. I was going to move her over that way more. Perhaps we'll move... how's Duke to... BC? Oh, BC... Uh, he could breed with seam. No, he couldn't. No, he couldn't. He couldn't breed with any of them, could he? Maybe we will bring him just in case, because he's a pretty good Baryena. And then the other thing is, these guys are starting to keep- or they are keeping the swimming tail, which is very good. Uh, we want to get that in, because if we get to one of the, another one of those archipelago places, it's gonna help a lot to have that. Now let's also make sure we are cracking these nuts when they fall. There we go. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then I don't see any, I haven't seen any uh, clamshells here, but if we see some, we should probably try and send somebody after them. Who's got a leech? Who has a leech? Someone over here has a leech. Is it? It's Lala. Let's get it off before it causes problems. All right, let's make sure we gather from here as well. We can also gather nest material and try to dig, and then uh, Nunuku can gather from here. Nunuku has KB. No, he couldn't breed with Sime. He could breed with her, though. I kind of want to bring Nunuku. Uh, because hear me out, you guys. Nunuku has the antlers. That could be very, very helpful to have. And we want to try and reinforce them in this family so that all the creatures have at least the ram horns, but uh, antlers seem to be dominant, so I suspect that's how it's going to end up. Let's make sure... I don't think we're going to bring Karasi. But we'll start destroying some of these nests. If we can. I don't think we've got any um, diggers anymore. Oh no, we do have one digger. Okay, let's come over here. And we'll try to dig that up soon. So we'll go ahead and start a new day again. And as we do... Well, okay. Somebody can come over here and kill this bunny. There we go. And we want to start moving Ramesi this way. Let's make sure we dig that up. Let's destroy this nest. We'll gather food from here. Our food supply is going down, so that is not a good thing. But we're going to stop breeding creatures. So I th hopefully it will go back up. Let's see. Let's start bringing him this way to help dig. And then let's shake the tree. And we can come over here and gather. And then let's get Miana over here. Let's get Milana over here. Keep gathering from here with... We can gather with Nunuku on the way because Nunuku's coming. And then who's got leeches? It's several of the creatures over here. It's her. She's got a leech. And who else has a leech? Uh, Mace has a leech. Oh no. Can anybody actually reach Mace? That is a very good question. Yes, we can. Thankfully, we can. Alright. Is Karasi... I don't think Karasi's coming. I don't think Roro's coming. Uh, Roro has swimming tail, though. So does Ramesi. Okay, he's not coming. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to have to deal with trying to get Spitznout out, because, again, like I said, Poison Fangs tends to be a little bit more touchy. It's, it's more difficult to work with. So let's start one more day. Um... Let's make sure we come back here. And we'll make sure we're gathering. Oh, we should try to fish if the fish come by. And then Ramesi needs to book it. Because she's got to get all the way over here. And um, hopefully she will make it. She should make it before there's too much issue. How old is everybody over here? I want to make sure we don't have anybody who's super old. Oh, she should actually be on orange. Because... Pink was indicating ones we were breeding that don't have the poison fangs. Um, so let's see if there's anything anybody here can do. I don't think we have a lot of really old creatures. So that's always a good thing to have pretty young creatures when you're starting out for New Island. Um, Nunuku's the oldest, I believe. Nunuku and Dukta are a little bit older. But for the most part, everyone is still pretty young. 
which is always good to see. And we were coming this way because there is a root over here, and hopefully this mole will pop up soon. And then these guys are going to stick around. She can gather from over here. Maybe we'll have someone come down here and try to attack the Ray's Rana. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll start a new day again. Oh good, rain. Rain is always nice. Can we get her over here? We can. Is there anyone else we want to bring? I don't think so. We do have one extra slot, but I think we'll leave it there and be content with that. So now what we gotta do is see if we can have anybody who could come and take out these bushes. Oh, there's lots of moles. Lots and lots of moles here. Let's see. Is anyone able to get over here? Yes. And then can anyone actually reach to pick up the meat is the question. I'm not sure if they can or not. I kind of don't think they're going to be able to. No, I don't think we can actually have anybody reach the meat. <laughs> Darn it, I was hoping we'd be able to gather that. Is she... None of these guys... Oh, Mace can destroy it. We can try to destroy, but that didn't work too well. No, I don't think anybody can reach that meat. Uh, can you destroy your bush? No, we'll have everyone at least try to destroy the bushes. There is a digging spot there, and we can attempt to destroy. So we got some of them destroyed, but most of them no. Let's have you attempt to destroy. Nope. Has everyone used their moves then who needs to? Oh, we should have gotten that shell. But yeah, I think everyone who needs to has used their moves. So let's get the, these guys headed out to the next island. How old are you? You're okay. All right. Let's get these guys headed out. We will go ahead and travel. Hopefully there's not too much swamp. Swamp is always a little freaky because of the mosquitoes. I see a tiny bit of swamp right there. And then there is... Hmm. We're gonna head towards the swamp, of course. We're gonna head in this direction. I kind of want to try to go back to a savanna area because if we can adapt to the climate, I think we could do okay there. Oh, here's a poison berry bush right right away, and a normal berry bush as well. Let's try and get set up over here. There's places we can fish. Um, let's start getting everybody headed out this way. We're going to be kind of careful with the swamp. It could be that it's so small there's no mosquitoes, uh, but we will have to see. What if you come over here and get these fish as well? That's nice. Let's make sure we can start gathering. Some of these guys do have the claws. But what we need to do is get everybody moved away as quickly, or not as quickly as we can. We're not super rushed for time. But it would be good to get everybody. Oh, Miana's old. Okay, Miana needs to, where did her, okay, her mates are like right over here. Okay, we do have to, some of these guys have to rush. But most of them are okay. Most of them can kind of take their time. We'll start a new day. And I think Miana is going to be the most important to breed right off the bat. So let's get her. I'm going to actually breed them. There we go. Let's have Nicola start moving this way. And we will. I'll have her dig real fast and then come over here and start clearing away some of this grass to make it easier to maneuver. And then who else needed to breed with him? It was these guys were going to be a really good breeding pair. So let's have her make a nest as well. He can start digging or gathering over here. We can gather up some of those fish. And um, we can just come this way. There's a leech moving around. We gotta be kind of cautious of that. Oh man. Um, can anybody reach? We should have someone able to reach. Okay. So the other leech came this way, but we can get it off. Let's have Macy come over this way, because she eventually will breed with him too. And then Lala can stay here for a bit. Uh, Nutaku is going to keep it moving. That scared me for a moment, because he didn't move. Um, and I thought he was not one of our creatures for half a second, and he almost gave me a heart attack. I was like, oh my goodness, there's someone in the bushes. But no, he's okay. <laughs> uh, but the other one we want to try to breed is Nunaku. So who was it who we wanted to breed with? It, he has KB. Who was it? It was 
Cime, wasn't it? KC? CB? No. Who was it? I don't actually know who it was. KB? BC? Star B? CB? CB? What? I thought we could breed him with someone. KC? KB? B star? I don't know. Maybe we can't. We got rid of the parasite. Let's get these guys away from the water's edge, though. Who was it? I'm not sure who of who it was. Let's see about... Okay, that's a male. He can keep moving. He's not all that old. Nicola can't breed. She can keep moving. Uh, Nutaku is male and can keep moving. Kuma... Renara. So the Kumas we're going to breed. We'll probably have them settle down a little ways off. A little ways further this way. So where is the other Kuma? Cease. There's two of the... There's two... Oh, they're not quite the same, but they're similar. Kuma Kuvanro needs to move it. There we go. And then we had Rovanu, who does not have Poison Fang, but does have Double Berry Paw. That could be helpful. And let's breed these guys again. Have her make... I want her to make a nest. There we go. And we can breed these guys and she can make a nest. Uh, these guys are going to spend quite a bit of time breeding, I think. So Lala will stick around for a bit. Lala is probably less genetically important. Um, let's come over here. Can we attack? Yes, we can. Uh, Lola's less genetically important because we already have a lot of her genes. Okay, let's breed these guys and get her ready to come back. We'll have him sit here just in case. I don't really want uh, a bird to show up and snatch the baby. But let's go ahead and start a new day. And if, if whether or not we go to the savanna depends on how well we can uh, condense our genetics and if we can start breeding in, I don't think we have the ability to breed in lean body yet, do we? Big body, no. Lean body, we need to spend more time in a hot climate. So we might want medium body, because medium body, if we look at it, it has one heat resistance. Whereas a lot of these guys have big body, which, if we, we gotta look at somebody who's got big body. <laughs> uh, actually, several of these guys have medium. Most of these guys have medium body. Actually... Big body is inactive, so it doesn't show its traits. I did not realize how many of these guys. Here we go. Here, Lala has big body. Um, and I believe that shows... So she has additional cold resistance, but she doesn't have heat resistance, whereas the rest of these guys will have a little bit of heat resistance. So Lala is probably, honestly, not the best breeding creature anyway. And we got a toxic. Okay, we have Cease, who has... Really bad genetics. Do you, are you have anything in to compensate for the no pod? No, we don't. Okay. So let's make sure she actually can't gather, so that's all right. So let's have, we'll move Von Ducro this way. He got a digger paw, which is kind of nice. And then we'll move Rovanu out and we'll come over here and breed them. So we do want to make sure we breed for the um, the poison fangs if we can. Oh, he doesn't have poison fangs at all. Um, she's the one with double poison fangs. All right, I'm getting my genetics straight, you guys. I'm getting them straight. Uh, don't worry, we're getting there. So let's have these guys keep moving. The Kumas will keep moving this way, and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna have them stay pretty close together because we eventually want them to be mates. And the others will continue this way. Oop, here is a berry bush. And it's not, um, it's not one of the uh, cactuses, which is always nice. Oh, here is a nest. Maybe we'll station the kumas here, or maybe we'll try to get a little further, because I want to try and go here, because I think if we look at, how many genetics do we have in this family? BC, star, K. I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's all. I'm pretty sure that is all. 
And so we can easily condense that down to three creatures. And then for this family, how many do we have? B star, A, B, wait, B star, A, E. Yeah, we could easily condense that down as well. It would be more than possible to have the them condensed down to that many creatures. It'll be a little scary, but it'll be possible. <laughs> um, and a little bit tricky to get the exact combinations. So, oh man, they keep having, well, they keep having secondary poison fang, which is good. Um... Let's make sure we breed them, and then we might have her make a nest, and then I don't know. Let's keep moving this way. I think we'll have Nunaku stay here, because I do want to try and breed him into the family again, possibly. Does he have traits set? He does have traits set. Okay, so he has KB. Sime has KC. I think we want to try and breed them because at the in the worst case scenario where they have an unhealthy baby, they're at least preserving that K immunity, which is not the most common gene in the world. And uh, amongst our creatures, B and star and such are a lot more common. So let's keep these guys moving. We'll have them come this way. Cease can keep moving this way. Cease found a place to stop and gather from. So we'll have them continue blazing a trail. They're going to try and avoid this swamp if they can, and head this way. There is not a lot of room here, though. There's a big old lake in the way, so hopefully that's not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, let's make sure we gather from here. And... Alright, we'll move Cease out. We'll move Ramesi here. Breed them, and then I'm actually... I think I'm going to move... Oh, Miana needs to nest this turn. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll make sure. Uh, I forgot how exactly how old Miana was. We want to st keep gathering from this, but I don't want him getting sick. So we'll work with that. Okay, and then is there any... There is a diggy spot. Okay. And then maybe we'll scoot her over here just to be safe. I don't think we have any birds floating around, but if there are any, we don't want to take our chances. So we actually had... Please don't be sick. Holy stinking moly. This guy looks awesome. He's like an inverse tiger. I don't... I like him a lot. I'm not going to lie. He is very cool looking. Um, unfortunately, he has pretty common genetics. K and B is something that I think could be a good breeding creature, though. Um, let's make sure... Oh! Dukta! That was a mistake. That was an accident. Nunuku, I meant to breed with you. Oops. Um, okay, so who is sick? Who is sick? It's this baby, Cola, and this baby, Kukirta. So let's move everybody back. Ramesi is going to step back over here. We'll gather from there. Maybe clear away some of this grass. We'll move, uh, Duke Roku. Here, we'll move- I want to move Isis away. So Isis is gonna have to come up here. Duke Roku... ...can come over here. And we can move Kome out, and Milana can come here and they can still breed. Okay. And hopefully now we really don't have a bird because we have a bunch of unprotected babies. <laughs> um... But let's see. Von Ducro can also dig here and kind of just keep going that way. The Kumas are getting a little older, so we probably want to breed them pretty soon here. Let's see if we can have anybody else find another nest in the area. We found a berry bush, at least. Nicola got another berry bush. Uh, Dukta is going to keep it moving because... Oh, I didn't mean for him to breed, but that... Or to dig, but that works. Because we accidentally bred with him and... Uh, so I think we're gonna have Renara move up here, Kuvanro here, we'll try and breed them, and then she'll make a nest. We'll have them nest right here, hopefully not too close to the swamp, maybe we'll kind of have them nest as they go and then leave behind babysitters, but we'll see. We've done that before, and I'll close these because they're annoying me. And then let's have Cease. Can't actually gather- oh. Is she- I thought she's supposed to be- She's poisoned, she's supposed to be resistant, isn't she? Poison! Resistance to poison! How much does Poison Fang give you? Okay. 
Apparently, poison body does not work in the- or toxic body does not work in the way it's supposed to. I am so sorry. Is she actually gonna take damage from it? She is. Oops. Um. That was a mistake. Uh, let's move over here. Let's have Kukirta move this way. And Cease, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Um. You can sit here. She's near this baby, but she was near the baby last time and didn't get sick. So hopefully that means it's a non-issue. Let's have, um... We're having a bunch of babies. Unfortunately, we don't have a male um, poison fang creature. Because we're having a bunch that have secondary, but not primary. So let's have Isis keep moving this way. And a Nunaku. Let's see. So we had... Rokir is sick. Oh no. Um... We're gonna have to move away then. We'll step back over here. Ravani will move over here. Mamace will move here. We'll move back again. We'll move Rokirduke over here. Just keep everybody a safe distance away. And uh, we'll have the Kumas are breeding over here. So we had Rasila, who's actually got a slightly different fur color than them. That's cool. Kuvanro and Kumarinara. So we'll have these guys keep it moving. And then Kuvanru can come here. She can come here and make a nest. And the rest of everybody can keep gathering and then moving on. We're gonna we'll have somebody come through and cut down the berry bushes on the way. Um, and then a lot of these guys who are going to um stay behind can make sure they're cutting down the berry bushes as they go as well. Lala, I think, may just stay here for the rest of her life, perhaps, because I don't know that we really want to breed her. And we did get the Kumas to have their mutation menus set up, right? Yes, they do. Okay, that's good. And this new baby is pretty good genetically. That's always good to see. I think Rokir Duke is definitely going to be a breeding creature because he's pretty good, he's got pretty good genetics, and then Lamace probably will as well, and, um, because she has this K gene, so KB, can't breed with CB, and then this one's female, so it's not a matter, it's, it's kind of irrelevant anyway. So we also gotta make sure we get that star immunity in, which means that, who's got, who's got star immunity? Mikola has it, Cease has it, star B... She, these guys could breed with Kuma Kubanro, so he might become a little bit popular coming up here <laughs> um, when it comes to the breeding. Oh, lucky guess. We were able to dig something up there. Uh, these guys bred. Kome. Is there anywhere nearby that she could dig stuff up? I don't actually know. Rila can move this way, and uh, Lare will keep moving this way as well. Hopefully we'll get some males... If we look at... Kakirta has BB. EB. Oh, that's Nunaku. He sees... Um, Star A. These guys would be a little bit of a wild card to breed together, but I kind of want to... No, oh no, she does not have... Um, never mind, she doesn't have the... Uh, the poison fang. Neither does he. Okay, that settles it then. That's not happening. We need a male poison fang creature. Does Rovanu? Rovanu does not. Okay. We need a male poison fang creature. Uh, Von Ducro does. EB. And Kome does. Also has EB. Starby. I think... Nope. We can't use her for breeding, though. So we need... Von Ducro is going to be important in our um, poison fang line. So we need to make sure we're continuing to breed him. He's gonna follow these guys up, though. And I think we'll go ahead, we'll start one last day. Who took damage from what? I hear a lot of sneezing. There's a whole lot of sneezing. Who's sick? I don't know who took damage from what. Mianara has K immunity, which is very good. Uh, that's a little bit more of a, an uncommon gene. So let's have Kumakuvanro move here. And then Cease is also going to want to breed with him. And Mikola 
um, is also going to want to breed with him. We'll have actually him breed with her. And then uh, pass on the genetics that way. Rasila is going to keep going. Rasira is going to gather, destroy, and then move to keep up. And Nutaku is going to gather, gather, and then we're going to destroy this bush and keep moving. Let's have these guys hurry to catch up as well. Um, we probably will need to settle down for a bit too and try to gather some more food up and kind of stockpile some. Is there anyone who we're not going to be, we know we're not going to be breeding? We can have some of the sick creatures just uh, gather some of this cactus if we have to. We're going to destroy these nests and I'm going to have her destroy these. And then Cease, oh Cease is the one taking damage because Cease um, was poisoned. So let's move... No, I can't use that nest though. Let's move, just scoot these guys a little ways away. And then uh, Kukirta can move this way. And he can sit here because none of them, okay. And Rokir is also sick. None of them are going to be an issue. So Isis can come this way. That's not going to be an issue to keep these guys out of the way. That is a good thing. I don't know if we're going to breed anymore with Nukunu. So let's have Von Ducrow keep moving, because we know we need him for breeding. We'll have him keep moving this way. And then... Komei can gather and move this way. Sime has KC. I think we're going to keep her moving as well. And uh, we'll try to get these guys to right over in this area over here. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. We'll try, maybe have her try and dig. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.